What's up guys, um, usually do Call of Duty videos but today I'm just bored and we've been playing our seeding game so I'm just going to do a little pack opening and talk while I'm recording so whatever, uh, I've got 2000 points to spend and I'm trying to get Team of the Year Messi so may as well just make a video. Um, we played today against Amiga, uh, it was for top 16, uh, we won the maps 3-0 so we were really pleased with that. Um, a bit unlucky for them to be honest, the first game they disconnected, uh, Kenny disconnected and he couldn't join back because uh, there's a playlist update so it's pretty shit. Um, we were losing by 20 seconds at that point so I'm pretty sure we would have lost as we weren't playing the best but end of the day we can't do anything about that. Um, I'm sure they would have carried on if it happened to us and it's in the rules so sounds sweaty but end of the day we won. Um, we then smashed them 6-1 S&D, Hadzi went on a tear, I think he went 11 for 2. So, I don't know, we all played really well on the S&D, but Hadzi stood out, he played really well. Um, and the last map, we obliterated him 3-0. Um, so, I was quite shocked really, because Amigo are a good team. I mean, I, we've beat them in screens of four, but, like, you know, tawny games, it's like, everyone plays a lot better under pressure um, when you're at that kind of level. So, we were really pleased with what went down, and... We've now got Enigma Sweden for top 12, so they're, they're not really nowhere near as good as some of the teams we beat, so I'm hoping we should beat them. I mean, we get to host three maps, so we won't be playing on dirty Swedish con, which is always good. So, I don't know, um, it's difficult what to expect from them. They, I think they beat TCM in the Col XP qualifiers last week, obviously, but that was on Swedish Connection, so... I'm not expecting a big fight from them and in my earlier videos, if any of you have watched, I talked about I was losing to Dominance, so that was a game we lost 3-2, it was one of the best games I've ever had, uh, their hard point game so on point, um, so we're going to have them next as well, that will be for top 8 if we beat Enigma Sweden, which we're quite confident of doing. Um, when we did play Dominance, we had Slums, hard point, and Express hard point. they're not really our strongest map, so... I think because the map rotation is repeating itself, we're not actually going to have to play those maps this time. I think it's Raid, which is, we're really strong at Raid, so I'm hoping we could actually take a map on Hardpoint and actually beat them. Which would be amazing because, obviously, top 8 for a team like us, who are underrated and no one really knows much about us, we've only had top 32 placement at EJLA, um, it's always good to be up there and getting ourselves known. Um, just stop talking about Call of Duty now, these packs are absolutely dog shit. Um, like I said, I'm just spending these points just so I can get to Team of the MSC. So, you know, it, I think FIFA rips people off a lot. I don't know if any of you play FIFA or you get pack packs, but I think I never get anyone good. I think the best player I've had is Messi. And I know you're going to be thinking, oh, you never get anyone good. But literally, I've spent thousands upon thousands of Microsoft points. And then you see Big Vapes getting Team of the Year Marcelo and Team of the Year PK one after the other. But it's just down to luck, I suppose. It's like Pokemon cards when you're a kid. You can't change it, can you? But, um... Literally just trying to blitz through these packs just so you're not sat there for ages watching. Um, Abstract as well. I've just dropped James, which was a bit of a shock at first, but I kind of expected it because he's not on that much and he doesn't really stand out in the games he does play, so... I just think it's because he's got a lot of work going on at school or college and he hasn't got as much time as he used to, which is fair enough, man. I, I, he is a sick player and I wish him all the best, but they've picked up Kez, who's really good. Um, we all know Kez quite well, so it's always nice to see someone we know getting in that team. And they, they're in the same as us, they're playing for top 12 next game, uh, going back to Call of Duty. Um, they're playing Tech Sweden, so we both got Swedish teams and hopefully if we beat Dominance we'll be we meeting Abstract. So. So there's a bit of rivalry going on, so it'll be nice to see what happens. Um, other than that, it's it's hard to keep talking and waffling on like I am. But oh, we've um oh another thing I can actually talk about. Sorry, twisted. Uh, a lot of you are thinking, what the fuck is twisted? Um, basically, the team decided on a name. For, we were just having our own game attacks for ages, and it was just boring. And we wanted to look a bit more take people take us a bit more serious. So just looking like pickups every week. So they came up with the name Twisted, well we came up with the name Twisted, sorry, and um, I don't know, we just really liked it. It's something different, 
you know, you always get these names like Defiance, Deception, like names like that. They're just really common and boring. We just wanted it went with something different. Um, and Yolis is a bit twisted, his sense of humour, so it was named after him, really. But um, we've currently got a logo and team member under development, Big Live New, uh, hooking up a brother. He's such a sound guy. If any of you don't know him, um, I'll link his Twitter in the description. He's done Prophecy, he's done work for Prophecy, Unite, uh, the American team. He's done Deserto um, work. He's absolutely sick, so any of you need graphics doing, he's definitely the man to hit up. Um, there might be a charge, but he's it's 100% worth it. He's so sick with graphics. You just go on their website to see the work they've done. It's awesome. So I'm really happy that he's hooking me up with that for our team as well. It makes us look a bit more professional instead of just some like pickups, like I've said. And um, I should be making uploading a few more videos soon. I'm just waiting for my connection to get a bit better because it's taking like hours just to upload a 10-minute video, which is quite annoying. It limits me a bit on what I can do. So, um, I'll quickly show you my ultimate team as well after these packs. I can got two more packs to go. Obviously, got no one good because it's FIFA's shit. But, like I said, um, mug you off, don't you? It's just a money making ploy. They got fuck all else going for them because the game's pretty shit, to be honest, compared to some of the old ones. But, pff, if any of you have had nice packs, or maybe some of you have uploaded some nice footage getting packs upload it or link it me in the description be keen to see it um, if any of you can like kind of advertise my channel I'd really appreciate it like on Twitter um, I've hardly got any subscribers at the moment so anyone who is watching this I'd love I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe it would uh, do a lot of good for me um, just encourage me to keep going because obviously I've got my Elgato I want to keep uploading as many videos as can and videos that are decent for the Viewers, um, I was thinking of making a series on Call of Duty, just like maybe fails of the week, but it's quite common, so anyone has any ideas, help me out um, what you think. That's a quick look at my team. I did have Team of the Year Cassius in goal, Team of the Year Marcelo, Team of the Year PK, and Team of the Year Javi Alonso, but I've just sold them. Um, obviously, you're going to see I've got 1.95 mil. Um, the reason I sold them was because I had Rooney up front and he's awful, and I really wanted Messi, just, I just felt like... I was just relying on Ronaldo too much and Rooney was shocking, he couldn't do anything. So, Messi, obviously, you got the money, you buy him, which is what I'm going to do now if this fucking game loads. Oh wow, connection problem as usual. EA is shit, it mugs me off constantly. Come on. Well, I was going to buy Messi, but unfortunately, oh, here we go. Yeah, but I'll buy him now. There you go, so I've just bought Team of the MSC. So, anyone, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Think I'm a prick, let me know. I'm going to welcome any comments on my channel, so... Hit me up and just, uh... Whatever. Cheers.